Hello everyone, welcome to the Mittens Field Strip Challenge. The idea is to see if you can field strip your firearm with surplus mittens. Of course, being an Austrian, my first choice are the Austrian army mittens and I have wool gloves under these mittens because that's how you have to be in the Austrian army. And to go with the Arctic theme because oh, winter is coming, eventually. Eventually? Winter is coming somewhat, somewhere. I'm going with the White Steyr AOG to disassemble. So here's the rules that I can. We're winter mittens. We're wool clothes under the winter mittens if your local army wears it that way. And the only tool allowed for the field strip is a single bullet of the caliber the firearm is chambered in. Well, I'm using a second camera this time, it's up there, to show you what I'm doing up front here and what happens here. So, I guess that means we are ready to start. First of all, taking the magazine out and making sure the firearm is unloaded. Firearm is unloaded and it's on a safe position. Now, Let's take the barrel out with the Steyr EOG, that's easy, You're putting it down here. Well, it's easy without mittens, with mittens it's more easy, <laughs> it's not that easy. So, there it goes, and just remove the barrel. So much for the barrel. Putting that back to the front, and here is the disassembly bolt. Oh. Okay, that's a bit hard to push with the thumb of the mitten. So I'm gonna use my <laughs> I'm gonna use my bullet tool if I can grab the bullet. Oh come on, there you go. And there it is. That's the bolt and bolt carrier. That's the upper receiver. We will look at those parts later. Now for the stock. Getting the trigger unit out means I have to press in here and push out that. I'm gonna put it up there, pushing it and, well, pulling it out. Wow, <laughs> I'm surprised that it worked so easily. <laughs> there we go. There is the trigger unit of the Steyr AOG. I will put that in there, put the bolt there as well. And we are pretty much done with a field strip of the stock. And where do I put it? Let's go with here. Let's look what else can we field strip. Ah, of course. Let's get the bolt from the bolt carrier. So for the next step, I have to push these two plastic things together and push it up at the same time. This is very easy if you have uh normal gloves on or if you don't have gloves on but with the mittens that's a bit hard come on come on i pushed it together but getting it up <laughs> is a problem okay let's see if i can do this with the help of the bullet pushing that one there pushing that one there and now Pushing it up, there you go, nice. And this one unlocks the firing pin. I will now turn the firing pin to unlock the bolt. The bolt is spring loaded, so put in the finger in front of the bolt before turning the firing pin. Firing pin is turned. There goes the firing pin. And slowly releasing the bolt out of his prison. There it goes. If you don't put your finger up front, boom, that bolt will shoot out like stunk by a mad bee or something. There you go. So that's the bolt carrier. The locking piece for the bolt and the firing pin. Only thing left to do for a field strip now is removing the gas valve. So you have to push it up 
and get it to the disassembly position, which is up there. And hey, that was easy. So I'd say the Steyr AOG is very well field streamable with middens. I guess that's because we have some cold regions in Austria and therefore, I don't know, you have to be able to field stream your AOG with middens on. Well, so much for streaming. Let's try to get it back together. Uh, let's see if that's as easy as it is putting it apart. So getting the gas plug back in, that's a disassembly position. And now I have to push it up. Push it up, 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 and turn it. Turn it, turn it, turn it. There it goes. And the gas plug is back in. Well, while we're at it, let's put back in the barrel. So, that's it for the barrel assembly. Now we're going. Oh, come on. Oh. Picking things up from a flat surface with the mittens doesn't work as well. <laughs> there we have bolt. Getting the bolt back in his cage. Oh, come on, come on, come on. Ah, okay. Putting the bolt back in the bolt carrier, or at least I'm trying to. So here comes the kind of tricky part. I have to keep the bolt pressed in and install the... F oh, damn it. Locking piece. Of course, before you have to get back in the bolt, you have to get back in the locking piece in the bolt carrier. Let me show you that here. It just slides in like that. And I hope it stays in. Stay. Stay in. Again. Getting the bolt in. Make sure that the locking part of the bolt is correctly aligned. I think I'm putting it that way. We'll make it easier. Okay, nothing is really easy with mittens on. There you go. Now, because it's spring-loaded, I have to let it not slide back up to the front while I put the firing pin in it, because the firing pin will engage the locking mechanism and push it up so that the AOG pin won't be flying out and probably hit something or someone in the terminal process. There you go. That's in. But the firing pin isn't fully in. So firing pin is fully in. Once it's in, I have to turn it 90 degrees. 90 degrees turn, you hear the click. And <laughs> well, that was unexpected. <laughs> so there you go. Now close the locking piece, firing pin is in position, bolt is in position, and that means that we are almost ready to fully put the firearm back together. But first, we're gonna use the trigger box, and when putting the trigger box back in, make sure the bolt release is correctly lined out. Yeah. That sounds good. Putting the rubber bed back, bed, I don't know, putting the rubber thingy back on the stock. Again, pushing the locking mechanism in. And there goes the pin. Make sure it's secured, pin is secured. Now make sure that the disassembly bolt is all the way to the right or else the parts won't go fully in. There's the bolt carrier. There's the receiver. 
putting it back together, pushing the bolt in, and that's pretty much it. So, you cannot just disassemble the AOG with mittens on, you can also put it back together. Let's do a function check. If the bolt correctly locks in with the empty magazine, bolt release works. And the trigger works too. So, that's it for the AOG field strip challenge with mittens. And I can't wait to see you do the mittens field strip challenge. So, let me know when you do one of those videos, when you try to disassemble your AR 15s, AK 47s, or whatever you have at home with Soapless Mittens On. Until we meet again, Fiat